Hi, welcome back. I'm John, and remember last time we looked at some stuff from Xactrail that came in this box that was N scale. Well, there was also some HO scale stuff in the same box. Let's go to the workbench and see what it is. All right, over at the workbench, we're looking at two HO scale Evans 5277 boxcars by Xactrail. This is part of Xactrail's Evolution series. And at the time of this video, they're available for $39.99 each. All right, taking a look at the GATX one first. It's actually lettered for the Laurenburg and Southern. This comes in four different road numbers and According to the Exact Rail website, the correct era for these cars would be 2016 till the present day. And you can tell that because it has conspicuity stripes, which is something you find only in more contemporary cars. The paint on this model makes it a real masterpiece. And the printing on the model, also perfect. The separation lines are as crisp as you could possibly get. You'll notice the tack board is painted a different color, which makes it stand out pretty nicely. And the detail in the door is molded, but it looks really good. And then part of the door track down here is a separately applied piece. The rest of it's molded. It looks great, though. Looking at it as a whole, the door track looks like a completely separately applied piece, all of it. But just that one spot that I showed you is. And then if you look closely, you'll see that it has separately applied wire grabs and then the stirrups also are very delicate and finely rendered. So looking at the end detail you can see we have separately applied ladders, a separately applied brake wheel and chain, crossover platform, a separately applied tack board, and that's a KD number 58 coupler. Comes with it. It's a painted roof and you can see it has all the cross bracing detail on the top there. Looks really great. Both of these cars also have full brake rigging and the KD58s are mounted to the body. And of course, Exact Rail always comes with metal wheels. These happen to have 33 inch wheels. And I'm gonna show you something in the trucks that's kinda of cool. So when you just look at these casually, Looks like the same truck, doesn't it? But look more closely in here. Okay, this is the one we've been looking at. That's a Barber S2 70 ton truck. They both have 33 inch metal wheels, but this one over here is actually a 70 ton ASF ride control truck. So even though they look similar, they're different. Let's take a closer look at the Wisconsin Central one now. Okay, working our way backwards and looking at the bottom now. You have a nailable wooden floor, which is under the model. But that's the kind of detail you get with Exact Rail. And of course, just like the GATX, we have full brake rigging. Something else worth mentioning is that the draft gear on the coupler is detailed. That's a nice touch. This one also has a nicely detailed roof, just like the GATX one. Okay, looking at the end, you'll see the same thing. Separately applied ladder, separately applied brake wheel and chain, crossover, KD number 58, and a separately applied tack board. This model also has perfect paint. The door track, partially separately applied, fine wire grabs for the ladders on the side there. Perfect printing. You get your conspicuity stripes on this as well. The logo is also very nicely rendered. Should mention that this model, according to the website, is appropriate for the 1990s through the early 2000s and also has a minimum radius rating of 22 inches. So as you can see, this is a nice release from Xactrail in HO scale. And I should mention that some of the ones that are listed on the website, just like last week with the N-Scale models, have the 100-ton trucks with the 36-inch wheels. It just so happens that the two that I have here for the product spotlight today are 
two that have the 33 inch wheels with the 70 ton trucks. But the prototype variations are there on the HO scale ones as well. And being that these are in the Evolution series, you'll notice that they don't have the uncoupling lever or the air hose, but that also lends itself to a lower price point. So good release. Everything on the models looks as good or better than what I would expect from Exact Rail. So solid release, good job. I'll see you next time.